Hello again, everyone. I'm Dr. George Simon, and welcome to another edition of the new Character Matters program, the program where we talk about what I consider to be the defining issue of our time, the character crisis that we've been in for some time now and that affects every single aspect of our lives. We've almost become numb to the character issue, things that once outraged us or that we thought were unthinkable, behaviors so egregious that we thought we'd never see them have become so commonplace. We've grown accustomed to them. Such behaviors have become normalized. We don't expect any better. Nothing seems to shock us anymore. And this has to turn around, which is why I do what I do and why I host these brief podcasts. Today, I'd like to continue a discussion about malignant narcissism, which, like all forms of narcissism and all forms of character disturbance, exists along a spectrum of severity. Narcissism itself varies as to both type and degree, contrary to what you see on the internet and read about in so many different books these days. And even m malignant narcissism has varying degrees of seriousness to it, just like all malignancies do. By definition, a malignant condition is one expected to worsen and one that poses danger, significant danger, especially in the absence of effective intervention. And malignant narcissism is no exception. And depending on the type and severity and the extent of the narcissism and the length of time that it has been present. The prognosis is very, very different. At the core of malignant narcissism, as I mentioned in the last podcast and as I write about in all my books, at the core is empathy deficiency, impairment in one's ability to care, in one's willingness to care. Some malignant narcissists simply can't care. They don't have the architecture for it. Whether or not that deficiency is inborn and innate or has developed early on as a result of traumatic circumstances. So we have automatically a spectrum of individuals who don't care enough to function in a manner that does well by others to those folks who simply can't hear. It's a broad spectrum. In its most serious form, malignant narcissism manifests itself in what we have alternately called sociopathy or psychopathy. The term psychopathy coined to describe an apparent moral insanity where a person's ruthless, senseless, remorseless, use and abuse of others defies rational explanation and was once thought to be a form of insanity because of the heartlessness in it. But we currently recognize that individuals with this callous nature are not insane. They're simply devoid of willingness or even ability to care about another's welfare. Now, along the spectrum of malignant narcissism are some individuals who have some ability to care, maybe even some willingness to care. But oftentimes, these folks also have the ability to put that ability into a kind of a mental lockbox. We call this compartmentalization to turn off the caring for a minute, to serve a desire so strong or so self-serving that they put all other care and concerns aside to serve that interest. In the most serious kind of malignant narcissism, the unwillingness or the inability to care at all, and that predisposes a person to the wanton, senseless, remorseless use and abuse of others combines with a pathological sense of superiority 
This combination is the heart of the only known intraspecies predators in the world, or psychopaths, alternately sometimes called sociopaths. Folks who prey upon other human beings, not only out of the inability or unwillingness to care, but also out of an extraordinary sense of superiority over those individuals that they see as inherently weak or defective because of their willingness and their ability to care. And in this pathological grandiosity, such individuals feel entitled to prey, E-R-E-Y, on those that they see as inherently inferior. And I'll have more to say on the true nature of psychopathy on the next edition of the new Character Matters, so I hope you'll tune in. I also hope that you'll avail yourself of the many articles I've written about it on my blog at Dr. George Simon's Character Matters, and also in all my books, readily available on Amazon. So until then, thanks for tuning in. I'm Dr. George Simon. Take care.